I'm in Central Oregon, near the entrance to Ariel Cave. I never heard of this cave until recently. Somebody else pointed it out to me. I guess it was never a tourist cave. In fact, to get here, you have to drive on a pretty ugly excuse for a road. Anyway, so this is Ariel Cave. If I understand correctly, it has three entrances. Never really explored it. I briefly got brought here and away we went. This plastic junk isn't trash. See, they use it to try to protect plants and stuff, but it blows in the wind. Makes a mess sometimes. Okay, so here's one of the entrances to Ariel Cave. Real small, right there. Might go in there in a little bit. First, I wanna check it out. I think there's at least two more entrances. So there's that entrance. I'll definitely check that out in a minute. See if I can remember where the other entrances are. It's a pretty small cave. Oh yeah, there it is. Can't really get lost if the cave is small. facing the sun. Hopefully there aren't too many lens flares ruining my video. So if I pan down there, looks like there's another exit to that small cave I just showed you. And then over the other side of this collapse trench be another entrance. Some people would argue it's a separate cave. Some people argue it's the same cave. So there's the bigger entrance. I think I went in there last time. Huh. It's winter, but there isn't too much snow. So it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a little cool, but nice sunny day. So it's to start snowing again since. So I'm taking advantage of the opportunity here. Okay, I guess the other cave entrance would be in front of me here. Huh, there's some blue plastic. Blue plastic, over here it's yellow. Not sure what that all means. Maybe they ran out of blue plastic. There's another collapsed trench. You can't really even see it until you get the right angle. Voila, there's the other entrance. So this would be the east entrance to uh, Ariel Cave. Now the thing about this, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the lap, then I'll come back and explore again. Hang on a second. So it, it's early in the morning, now mid-morning. I think it's about 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, Huh. I think that's it must be Mount Bachelor in the distance. No, 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 that's Mount Jefferson because I can see the three sisters over there. Yeah, so that must be Mount Washington right there. Cool. All right, so I'm not totally lost. Anyway, so obviously I'm on China Hat Road. So, shoot, I had a point. Oh, yeah, so. I'm Okay, so now I'm back at this one entrance. Or two entrances. The one right there, and the one right there. I'm gonna do the big cave first, because it's easier. I have knee pads, but I'm not really prepared for a belly crawl. I'm not sure how interesting this is gonna be. Hopefully I won't get myself stuck. Okay, so obviously there's a small crawlway down there. Be a little bit of work, but it's doable. And yes, that's real snow over there. Oh, here we go. Here's a catchy name for a cave. The number at the entrance is 12. Welcome to cave 12. I heard that's a good one. 
anyway. So here I am back at the uh, west end of the complex, as far as I know. I don't know how extensive this system is. I've never seen a map of it, so for all I know, there's 20 caves in each direction here. So there we are. There's snow, and the entrance is right down there. You know what I think? As long as I'm here, I'll go ahead and go in this entrance. There's not really any point in going all the way to the other end. Start there. Get my gloves on. For some reason, I think I might be cold. Where did I get that idea? Oh yeah, the snow and ice at the entrance. It's a bit of a wind too. Nothing we need to calculate the wind chill factor for. I don't see any number at this entrance. It's not like it's a mystery unknown cave or something. I think I can go in head first. Oh, wow. This would be an easy cave. Oh, man. All right, no sign of bats yet. Wow, I could stand up in there. Okay, hang on a second. Gotta make sure I bring my backpack with me. It's got extra flashlights. Cave this small, I could probably find my way out without a flashlight, but still, I try to practice good habits. Wow, this cave is bigger than I expected. I seriously expected it was gonna be like tiny. Wow, I hope my camera's doing this justice. I only have one light on right now. I don't really have a way to carry multiple lights. Okay, so there we go. Wow. <laughs> this is nice. Well, I'm glad I came here. Pretty gray, white rock. Let me just turn around real quick. Oh shoot, I'm at a big, holy cow, this is huge. And yeah, okay, so there's the way I crawled in. So that's why you should never judge a book by its cover. Just cause it's tiny on the outside. Doesn't mean it's gonna be tiny on the inside. Wow. Okay, so there's a way over there. Little wall is broken down here. No sign of bats. So I can, oh, strange place for an icicle. It's like the only icicle I've seen today. Okay. Nice. So there's the way I came in. Ceiling's a bit uneven, so there should be breakdown rock beneath me. Obviously the floor is covered in uh, dirt. Very soft dirt. It's nice. You can walk barefoot in here. Although it's probably like 99% rat droppings. So yeah, go barefoot at your own risk. Oh wow, look at this. It gets smaller and smaller but it's 